YouTube welcome back to another short video here I just got back from the range I was shooting this Glock 17 MOS Gen 5 model um, what I got laid out here is pretty much everything you get in the box when you buy one of these minus this of course and that paper that's all the specs on it don't know if you can see it or not but I will put a still picture in the video right now Alright, so with all the specs out of the way, I figured it would save a little bit of time doing it that way, rather than going, hey, this is this size, this weight, you know, there it is, you read it, pause it if you want, move on with life, here we go. Alright, so, just got back from the range, 50 rounds through it, only had one issue, I'm going to call it a problem related to my ammo, it's my own uh, cast and powder coated bullets, they're fairly short, I think they're like 1.060 in length, something like that. So I'm going to try to make those a little bit longer and see if that resolves the issue. Like I said, only had one hang up. So, and it was uh, partially into the chamber, kind of stuck at an angle, and it actually pushed the bullet down into the case further. So, threw that one out, caught it a day. Um, so yeah, with all that said, here's a little bit of range footage. Alright guys, so as you can see, as long as I do my part, it shoots pretty well. Hits what you're aiming at. Um, with all that said, have not taken this down yet since uh, since the range trip. No mag, nothing in the chamber. Something I found interesting about this, I don't know when they changed this, but um, maybe the Gen 5's only, maybe this model only, I don't know. But takedown is still pretty much the same. You pull back a little bit, pull this down and go forward, but you don't just slide all the way forward. Just lift straight up. That's new to me, but anyway, I'm not exactly a huge Glock fan, but so far I'm liking this one. Um, let's uh, take a peek at the barrel quick. Not even going to try to get the video shot of the barrel, but it still looks fine. Like I say, I was shooting my cast reloads. No build up in there of any kind. Um, also worth mentioning, I have not cleaned and lubed this since new, which those were the first 50 rounds, but looks like they have some kind of copper anises in these things, to be honest, but, but yeah, now that we're back home, we're going to clean it, lube it, pretty much call it a day at that point, I'll tinker around with my reloads and, uh, see if we can get it to feed reliably 100%, like I say, we only had one hiccup today, so... Alright guys, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments, thumbs up, subscribe, until next time, see ya.